What is up guys, JPR Tech. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Magic Lantern, the crop mood build on your Canon EOS M. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you wanna do is open up your disk utility. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna be using Mac. So for those Mac users, just follow along Windows, just find the dedicated formatting software that is uh, compatible with your uh, Windows. But anyways, yeah, for Mac is the building this utility, just format to EXFAT. Once you got that formatted, we'll head over to the website, the crop mood. And just this is the website where we can find the different builds for Magic Lantern, the crop mood. And I don't know which cameras they support, but I'm gonna go along with the image that they have. And they have like the EOS M, the 100D, the 650 and the 700D. But you know, the guys here work so hard in this build. So really consider donating for the cause because they did a lot of work to help us get great image on our Canon cameras. So with that said, once you finish donating, head over to the download build and find your camera. Personally, I am shooting with the Canon EOS M right now. So with that camera, we're gonna download the EOS M with the firmware version 202, and that's the firmware that my camera does have. Now, if you have upgraded to 203, I'm sorry, I don't know how to downgrade. Uh, maybe it's the same way as upgrading firmwares. Maybe you could downgrade. I don't know if you stuck with 203, I don't know what to tell you guys, so. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So firmware 202, this is very important. All right, and once we got that download, all we have to do is unzip the zip file that you have downloaded, copy everything in that zip over to your SD card that you just formatted. And also we wanna add our firmware upgrade, the 202. And if you don't know where it's at, just Google to somewhere in Google, you're gonna find a link to this older firmware by Canon. Just make sure you get it from a trustworthy source. And once you get it downloaded, you, you'll be able to find inside the installation this or the file, the folder, you will find that firmware uh, file. And it's really easy to uh, see because it's just labeled 202 firm. And once you have that copy down to your SD card, that's it, you're all set to go. We're ready to move on to our camera and continue our installation process. So go ahead and eject your SD card and let's head over to our camera. Now here we go, this is the SD card that I'm using. It's the Sandisk Extreme Pro. It's a 256 gigabyte. An awesome card, it's so reliable and it's been working flawlessly. I even overclocked this thing. Well, we're gonna show you everything, how to get this thing set up, but just wanted to share my SD card that I'm using. Now just make sure yours has a very uh, fast read and write speed, and you should be good to go. Now, personally, I wouldn't recommend using those DC power adapters. I prefer just to use a fully charged, 100% charged, authentic Canon battery just to be on the safe side, because we never know when a third party battery or even those third party adapters might fail on you. So just to be safe, I'm gonna use an authentic battery. Now, once you boot up and head over to the menu, if you don't see the firmware upgrade, the setting to upgrade, then that means you're in the wrong mode. Actually on the Canon USM, in order to upgrade the firmware, you have to set the camera to, the picture mode or the still mode, the center one. And once you switch that over and you turn on the camera, you should be able to say firmware version and on the bottom to upgrade to 202, go ahead and hit okay. And we're gonna let the firmware do its thing. And right away, Magic Lantern is gonna take over and you're gonna see a lot of flashings here and there. Don't worry, just let it do its thing until it says, please restart your camera and you should be able to see that done. And that's it. Don't be scared. Go ahead, push the power button, turn it off and then power back on. And guys, after you finish rebooting, you should be able, you should be greeted with the Magic Lantern boot screen by holding down the trash can or the, the pad at the bottom. Hold it down and it brings up the Magic Lantern. You can see we're in the 
2023 May 9 uh, build by crew crop mood now before you tweak anything we want to head over to our models tab up top on the menu head down and we're gonna check the following things on we want to make sure that we turn on the crop record dot mo module and then we head over to all the MLV ones the MLV light the MLV play as well as the MLV SND and then lastly yeah we want to head over to our SDUS HS that allows us to do overclocking so once we turn that on we're going to power off again restart the camera and after rebooting we should be able to do the overclocking and have Magin Lantern ready to go so at this time you you can switch over to the movie mode so you can see the changes that you're making in Magic Lantern taking effect so let's go ahead and long press the trash can to take you back to the menu and here we are these are all the modules that we have activated to help us use magic lantern so now we can overclock head over to the debug tab sd overclock and my card it can handle 240 easily i haven't had any problems with it so far but if you do experience any trouble or a lot of cutouts then lower down your overclock but for me 240 is good enough all right now after booting up in our magic lantern menu we could get started with all the good stuff the fun stuff to set up our camera the way we like personally i keep it simple i just keep zebras and the overexposure is at 100 percent and then my histogram i leave it on i turn off everything else you know it's like I, if i don't need it i don't turn it on and that's it, over in our movie tab, this is the most important setting we can have. We have three different modes we can shoot in. There's the one by one, which allows you to sh shoot in the different K modes, the 2.5, 2.8, and 3K. But of course, we're gonna set it at 3K. Turn on raw video to enable that. And just get out of the, the setting again by just hitting any button. And there you should see we are in that one by one 3K mode. And if your resolution is off, go ahead and hit, put it at the maximum. You should be able to have your resolution there. And the other mode that I like to shoot in, which I am shooting in right now, is 4.2K at 16 by 9. This is like my favorite mode for these kind of headshot things. But of course, 5.2k you get more resolution you get that anamorphic style looking shot is really cinematic and awesome for youtube and for b-rolls but anyway you could set whatever you like now in the raw videos there's a couple things that i like to set. i like to set my kill global draw to on that way when you start recording everything just any anything on the screen is just gone personally my sound i like to keep it with a zero delay but one does fine i haven't noticed a big difference but i'm just used to having a, a zero delay and that's it guys we are all set to go any other settings that you might have is just aesthetics right now you know like your white balance your aperture shutter speed everything you could do that on the camera as well now if you guys want to improve your shooting experience while using the camera while you're on ready to record you want to do the following quick settings and one is head over to the display settings on the menu and we want to use the lv the display digit picking to slightly sharper that helps just sharpen the image out a little bit it makes it easier to focus manually all right guys now to make even better your shooting experience i like to add some customized buttons so that i can make adjustments on the fly so if you head over to your preference menu you're gonna see at the bottom customize buttons and we're gonna customize a few buttons here i'm gonna customize the zoom times 10 so you could mix it really easy to focus and also the up and down arrow keys i use it to control my iso but you could program anything else the left and right i like to program for the aperture and that's it guys um, that's pretty much it for my settings in magic lantern i keep things minimalistic and just what i need you know we have the control of the shutter the aperture as well as the iso and that is just something that's very useful you you could do on the fly so it's really cool 
and hopefully guys this video helps you guys out get started with magic lantern if you did like the video if you found it helpful i would appreciate your liking smashing the like button and also sharing leave any comments or questions that you may have and hopefully if i have any answers any uh, com comments i will try to respond to you guys as soon as i can all right guys so how about you what are your camera settings what settings do you guys have in your magic lantern bill let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace